Each click steals 0.2 seconds and an average coder does 64,000 clicks in a day. So, if we do some calculation, we get 3 and a half hour. That much time is wasted by an average coder in a day. So, stop wasting time, start using VS Code shortcuts and unlock the coder inside you. By watching this video, you will learn more than 50 VS Code shortcuts covering everything from opening to closing the VS Code. Let's get started. When you open your VS Code, you might encounter a welcome tab like this. There is no use for it, you can close it. To create a folder, navigate to the explorer and click on open folder. However, we won't do that. Instead, we will use the terminal as it is much faster. So open your terminal using the control plus backtick command which is right below the escape key. Then type mkdir followed by your folder name. Once your folder is created, navigate to the folder path using the cd command. After that, type code-r. Remember, there is a space in between. This opens the folder in VS Code. If you practice this regularly, you can open VS Code quickly. Alright, if you don't want this welcome tab on startup, you can uncheck it. After that, to create a file, click on the file icon, write your file name and hit enter. This creates your file. But let's set a shortcut to make it much faster. Go to file, then preferences and select keyboard shortcuts or simply press ctrl plus key plus s. This opens the keyboard shortcuts tab. From here, we can customize shortcut. Now search for new file and add a shortcut you prefer but ensure it is not already in use. For example, you can use ctrl plus o plus p and hit enter. Similarly, for folders, set it as Ctrl plus F plus O. This sets the shortcut for opening files and folders in Explorer. Now press Ctrl plus F plus O to create a folder and Ctrl plus O plus P to create a file. This makes it a lot easier and quicker than before. So here are some files and folders I created. To open the files and folders, press Ctrl plus Shift plus E. It focuses on the Explorer. Now you can use the up and down arrow keys to select the files and folders you want. I know you guys know that Ctrl plus arrow keys helps to go word by word and Ctrl plus shift plus arrow select words. To scroll without using the mouse, you can use the Ctrl plus up or down arrow keys. If you want to move a line, don't use the cut and paste method. Use the Alt plus up or down arrow keys. It makes it lot easier. Ok, for the next shortcut, let's open an HTML file. Suppose you want to copy the same line again and again. Obviously don't use copy and paste. Use Alt plus shift plus up or down arrow keys. If you want to delete the line, press Ctrl plus Shift plus K. Let's say you want to write similar words at different locations. You can use Alt plus click to insert multiple cursor at different locations, enabling simultaneous editing. Now to close a tab, use the Ctrl plus W shortcut key. This code looks confusing. To make it more readable, use the shortcut key Ctrl plus Shift plus open square bracket. It makes the code more readable by folding the code blocks. If you want to unfold the code block, simply press Ctrl plus Shift plus close square bracket. Now regarding comments, you can add a one-line comment using Ctrl plus slash shortcut. For multi-line comments, press Alt plus Shift plus A. Here you can write multiple lines as comments. And then press Ctrl plus Shift plus P to open the command palette. It can perform various tasks in VS Code such as customization, managing extensions and utilizing Git. Let's explore themes. Choose any theme you like but avoid the bright ones as we both know why. Now press Ctrl plus P to swiftly navigate through your files. Simply write the file name or select the file and hit enter. It also offers many features like jumping to a specific line in your file. Write colon with your line number and it will take you to that line. Use the add symbol to navigate to any code block in a file. Let's go with the square function. You can quickly navigate to open files using Ctrl plus tab. But for files not currently open in the editor, use Ctrl plus P as mentioned before. And then to open a new window, press Ctrl plus Shift plus N. And to close it, press Ctrl plus Shift plus W. To access the settings, use the shortcut key Ctrl plus comma. For zooming in and out, use Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus. Press Ctrl plus B to toggle the sidebar open and close. As I told you, Ctrl plus Shift plus E show the explorer. Similarly, Ctrl plus Shift plus F open the search bar and Ctrl plus Shift plus G opens the source control. Use Ctrl plus Shift plus X to open the extension bar and Ctrl plus Shift plus D to open the debug bar. Alright, if you don't want any distractions, you can enter in gen mode by searching on the command palette or simply press Ctrl plus K, release both keys and finally press Z. This opens gen mode. It enhances focus. For auto adjusting long lines, enable word wrap by pressing Alt plus Z. To exit the Gen mode, simply press escape button and you are right back. 
Let's see some handy shortcuts. Press Ctrl plus S to select entire line. The next one I like the most. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus L to select similar words and edit them simultaneously. Sometimes VS Code doesn't give suggestions. To get the suggestions, you can use Ctrl plus Space. It starts giving the suggestions. Suppose your code is not properly formatted. To quickly format and organize your code, you can use Shift plus Alt plus F. It organizes it according to language style guidelines, enhancing readability. Now let's see some quick shortcuts. Use Ctrl plus Backslash to split your editor and Ctrl plus W to close it. Use Ctrl plus Page up or down to navigate to the next tab. Use Ctrl plus Shift plus Page up or down to move the tab to the left or right. By doing so, you can position your tab in the editor. To run the code, use Ctrl plus Alt plus N. If you are not able to run your code, you can watch this ever video. Lastly, let's explore some terminal shortcuts. As you know, Ctrl plus Backtick opens the terminal. Use the clear command to clean the terminal and arrow keys to navigate through previous commands. Use Ctrl plus Home to go to the top of the terminal and Ctrl plus N to go to the bottom. You can use the same keys in files also to navigate to the top and bottom of the files. The last and final one is use Ctrl plus Shift plus Backtick to create a new terminal. So that was the more than 50 VS Code shortcut. I know this is very hard to remember but practice makes man perfect. From today try not to use the mouse and I will also try to do the same. Thanks for watching.